triumphing over her many fears, Rosina finally landed on the edge of the mulberry forest. The first rays of the sun were just filtering through the clouds and a majestic view unfolded in front of her. The songs of the cuckoo, the chirps of a spruce and the singing of a tawny owl filled the air. Rosina was barely able to admire the magical wealth around her as her aching body pulled her to sleep. Time flew by and day melted into evening. A carnival of stars arrived against the darkened sky and the drowsy Rosina woke up to the glossy canvas. She could hear a violin play inside her. Soon her eyes caught a glimpse of a swarm of fireflies floating like the twinkling stars. It felt surreal and magical. Rosina twitched her muscles and reminded herself not to be lost in the view. She wondered if eating a firefly would be like crunching a glass bulb. Rosina hopped to another tree and fixed her gaze on the swarm of fireflies and waited for them to arrive in her direction. Rosina plunged herself into action and in the blink of an eye, she grabbed the brightest one in her beak. Rosina's eyes began gleaming with delight and she flew back to the treetop. She pulled out the tiny box and locked the firefly inside. Rosina was glad but inside the box, the little firefly was shrinking in fear. The little firefly screamed, but her shrieks could not cross the walls of the box. He sobbed and sobbed and sobbed his way to sleep. Throughout the dark night, Rosina closely guarded her precious capture with her claws firmly placed on the box. And as the first rays of the sun sparkled gold, Rosina opened the box, but all she could find was just an ordinary insect. A wave of disappointment crept in as the firefly looked nowhere close to the exotic creature of the night. The firefly did not glow through the day and that made Rosina very anxious. As the darkness once again engulfed the mulberry forest, Rosina opened the box very reluctantly. But she was amazed to find the firefly glowing once again. Rosina felt cheerful and she flew back to Kasna with her precious capture, the firefly whom she now called Zane. All through her journey way back home, Rosina kept planning out her next moves. She had a master plan sketched out and now she was ready to roll out her ideas.